Hi friends, this is Sri from Techie Talks AI and today I am going to give you the last Tailwind CSS tutorial you will ever need in your life. Yes, Tailwind looks huge, but I am going to show you how to learn it visually, remember it instantly and use it practically, all while spending the least possible time. No boring theory, no memorizing thousands of classes, just 15 visual micro demos, each one designed to burn the most important Tailwind utility into your muscle memory. By the end of this video, you'll be designing beautiful modern UI like a pro without writing a single line of CSS. Ready? Let's learn Tailwind the only way it should be learned visually, quickly and practically. Let's start. This video will teach you the fastest way to remember master Tailwind CSS. Everything we do will be visual, practical and instant. You will learn exactly what you need. Nothing more, nothing less. By the end, you will be ready to design real UI without writing any CSS. Why Tailwind? Tailwind removes the headache of naming classes and writing CSS. Instead of writing long CSS files, Tailwind gives you small utility classes like Lego bricks. You assemble them and instantly see the results. This saves huge time when building UI. The magic formula, this simple combination, padding, background color, text color and rounding is the essence of Tailwind. When you understand that Tailwind is just utility classes stacked together, you have basically understood the whole framework. So, so here, all these are utility classes. Padding, margin, background, blue and the intensity of the blue. That is it. So all these classes are stacked together. These are the formulas that help you remember Tailwind instantly. Spacing equal to M, P plus direction and number. So remember spacing M, P, direction and number. Spacing M or P for margin or padding. Direction up, down, left, right, etc. We'll see and the quantity, the number. So will you remember this? M hyphen, P hyphen, M hyphen means margin. P hyphen means padding. Next is color. What you want to style plus color plus shade. Each of these we'll see the examples in, in uh, coming slides. Next is flex. Flex plus alignment utility. We'll see what it is. After finishing a couple of slides, when you come back here, you will know what these mnemonics mean. So spacing, color, flex, then grid. Grid plus column count. Then responsive, the breakpoint, depending on the different screen sizes, SM, MD, LG, etc. So if you memorize these patterns, you will never need documentation again. So spacing you need to know, color you need to know, flex you need to know, grid and responsive. Let's start with spacing. Okay, so let's see a quick demo of uh, spacing elements. I'm in play dot tailwindcss.com. So here I have P6, M6, that is our focus. 